Hey guys, welcome to MB Tech Talker. My name's Matt. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure data filtering security profiles using data patterns to prevent sensitive data leaving your network. I'm going to be doing all of this using a VM series Palo Alto next generation firewall inside of VMware Workstation. Data filtering profiles are used to prevent sensitive information such as credit card numbers, US social security numbers or proprietary data from leaving your protected network. Data filtering profiles are attached to security policy rules that allows traffic. The profile can then scan for matching data patterns that are configured. In PanOS 8.0, data filtering was enhanced to work alongside third-party endpoint data loss prevention solutions that can add file properties to mark documents as sensitive. For example, a Word document could be stamped with the word confidential or restricted, and if required, we can configure the file to scan the file properties to make sure the right action is taken. In PanOS 9.1, there are 22 predefined patterns to choose from. The Palo Alto firewall has three data pattern types, predefined patterns, regular expressions, and file properties. Okay, so I've logged into the firewall. So let's go to the objects tab. And then under security profiles, let's click on data filtering and then click add. We're gonna name this Profile Outbound DF, short for data filtering. Uh, firstly, I'm going to configure a new data pattern that will check for US credit card numbers. So let's click Add New Data Pattern. And then we're going to call this data pattern Credit Card DP and a description blocks credit cards and then in the pattern type drop down we are going to choose predefined pattern and then we're going to click add then we're going to look for credit card numbers and then you can see the description has been populated and under file type if we click on any we can be a bit more specific on the file types the file is going to scan but in the lab, I'm just going to leave it as any. And then we can click OK. Let's create another data pattern. This time we're going to create a profile that will match a Microsoft Word file with a keyword or tag of confidential. So let's click add and then new data pattern. And then we're going to name this confidential DP and then the description we're going to put blocks confidential word docs and then we're going to leave the pattern type as file properties and then we're going to click add let's take that same name actually and then put that in there Let's just take the DP off. File type is going to be Microsoft Word. And then the file property is going to be keywords and tags. And then the property value is going to be confid confidential. And then click OK. Okay, so finally, let's create a third profile. This was a little bit trickier, but it's the same building blocks. So we need to click add new data pattern and we're going to name this proprietary. So proprietary dash confidential DP description is going to be blocks any files with the words with the words proprietary and confidential. And then the pattern type is going to be regular expression. And then we're going to click add. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste. This saves me out, saves me have to write that out again. 
Uh, file type is going to be any, and this time it's going to be a regular expression. So I've already got this written down, so I'm just going to simply copy and paste this in. Now I'm not going to go into any depth around regular expression in this video. I'll put a link in the description to the Palo Alto tech doc that discusses regular expressions in much more detail. If you guys want me to create a, a separate video about regular expressions, then just, just pop it in the comments below. But for this lab, that's as far as we're going to go. And then we can click OK. OK, so before we click OK, we need to set the thresholds and log severity on each data pattern rule. Each data filter in Provo keeps a count every time a data pattern is matched. Any data passing through the firewall that exceeds the alert threshold is logged to the data filtering log. So let's set the alert threshold to 1 on each data pattern along with the log severity. So for the credit card, let's set that to 1. For the confidential, let's set that to 1. And the same for proprietary and confidential. So now we can change log severity. So I'm going to set this one as high. Same for this one, uh, but for the proprietary and confidential, I'm going to set that to critical. So any data that passes through the file that exceeds the block threshold is blocked and logged to the data filter. Again, let's set the block threshold to one on all the patterns. One, one, and one. So that's all configured now and we can click OK. If I wanted to review all the data patterns configured, I could go to the underneath the custom objects and go to data patterns and you can see um, everything we've configured so far and, and uh, you can see all the settings at a glance. So the next step is to click on the security profile groups and then we need to click on the outbound profile. This is the security profile group that is attached to the outbound general internet access security rule. So we need to click on the data filtering profile drop down list. And then we select the outbound DF profile. Click OK. Uh, commit the changes. And then we can perform some testing on the Windows 10 lab client. Okay, so I've logged into the Windows 10 lab client. Here we have a folder with three different file types. We have a text file with a bogus American Express credit card number. We have a Word document. And if we take a look in the info, there is a tag configured with the word confidential. And then we have a wordpad a .rtf file and in the text we have the words proprietary and confidential so let's attempt to upload all three of these files to my google drive and let's see what the outcome is okay so i've logged into my google drive let's try and exfiltrate these uh these company files off my windows 10 lab client up to my google drive so let's do upload files and let's choose credit card details and let's start the upload. Okay, that failed. Let's now do the eyes only. So that's failed too. And then finally, let's do the word had document so the .rtf file and let's try uploading that one okay so they've all failed we can see they've uh, they haven't successfully uploaded to the cloud so now we can go over to the firewall and check the data filtering logs okay so before we look at the the firewall logs i just need to point out that my lab firewall is configured to decrypt ssl traffic so if you haven't configured this yourself, you should check out my SSL forward proxy video. 
If you don't decrypt the traffic, the file will not be able to scan the files for the data pattern. Okay, so let's go and check out the data filtering logs. So let's go across to the monitor tab and then click on data filtering. Let's take a look at the first upload. So this was the credit card details.txt. Um, the data pattern was defined in the credit card DP, so data pattern. Let's open up the detail log view. And if we take a look down here, the Google Docs uploading application was allowed initially. And then once the file scans the file, it detected a data pattern that matched the blocked credit card details. It stopped the upload by resetting the server connection and then logged it as a high severity. So let's go and take a look at the second file upload attempt. So if we close that and we're looking for the eyes only dot dot. So what we need to do is let's have a look in the detail log view. Expand that. And again, Google Docs uploading was initially allowed. The file will then scan the, the data in the file. And it detected the word confidential in the file properties because there was confidential in the tag. So it stopped the upload by resetting the server con connection and then logged as a high severity. The last file I tried to upload was the new product design RTF file. So that's this one here. Again, this one was slightly different from the other ones. We used a regex expression, but the, the result was the same. Again, it was allowed, the initial traffic was allowed, the Google Docs uploading. It scanned the file, the new product design.rtf wordpad file. It finds the words either um, proprietary and confidential with the and symbol or the ampersand symbol, or it scanned for proprietary and confidential with the word and between the two words and it detected it and then it reset the connection but this time it was logged as a critical severity. Brilliant so that's another successful lab. I hope you found the video useful and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay guys that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Over the next coming weeks, I will be uploading more videos where I will be sharing more content about Palo Alto firewall features and technologies and how to configure them. If you like this video, I'm sure you know what to do by now, but just in case you don't, please hit that like button below and share with your friends and be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. If you have any ideas of video content you want me to create, please put them in the comments below as I would love to hear your feedback on any aspect of my channel. Please keep watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.